fight number eight of the night. Ashley, the Ginger Flash Belston, age 26, business advisor. Taking on the might of in the gold team, Joe Perry. Quite the senior, age 34, a plasterer. First fighter donned in a row we've seen tonight. He dances around the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the gold team. He's 34. He's a blaster. Please welcome Mr. Joe. The older of the two at 34, Joe Perry knows what workout music he's having. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll now hand you over to our referee, Mr. John Burnett. Here we go. Perry in the gold, Belston in the black. Belston is the man who described himself as the ginger flash. He thinks he's quick. We shall see. Perry just working the body a bit there. Referee watches on as these two exchange blows. Perry almost seems to be slightly rocked there. The ginger flash Belston just using his reach advantage, and he clearly has one here. He's definitely the taller of the two. And already it seems to have flipped round. Perry! Almost making me eat my words, just as I thought Perry was starting to be a bit rocked. Elston was on the receiving end of a flurry of jabs. From the somewhat shorter, but no less powerful Perry. tell when there's a lot of support for a fight because the general volume of the crowd goes up a few decibels and that's what's happened here Joe Perry and the ginger flash both definitely having some support in here tonight and why not they've trained for 10 weeks with the challenge boxing which is a 10 week course in which these amateur fighters train culminates in a final fight with an opponent they've been matched to. Lovely clip around the forehead there. Belson almost showing some tentative aggression. This was the flurry of punches that Joe Perry delivered to the Ginger Flash to rock him. Joe 
Joe Perry working the body in the clinch there, taking advantage of the gaps that have formed. We have seen that the quality of the boxing tends to go up a little in round two as both fighters have just had a couple of minutes to learn the pace of the fight, each other's styles. And they've learned through their training to adapt quickly. And there's two pretty nice, pretty solid hooks to either side of the face of Belston. So just trying to jog it off. Again, rocked by some strong jabs from Perry. It's interesting, many times so far tonight, we've seen in fights where one boxer has been taller than the other, clearly had a significant height advantage. The shorter fighter commonly has been able to get inside the longer reach and work the jabs and really now we can see that Belson's face has been pummeled by the fists of Joe Perry if it keeps going like this you start to think that possibly Joe Perry will be recognized as the aggressor of the three round bout The, the replays tell it for themselves. Joe Perry has landed some very strong jabs there. third and final round straight away Joe Perry getting back to his old style which is basically smashing Belston in the face it's worked for him so far and you know what they say if it ain't broke Good, very quick there to spot Belson's back of the back of the head, basically hammer fist blow. Took advantage of Joe Perry being doubled over. Just came back down the back of his head. The referee had to give him a warning. It may be amateur fighting, but it's about the only difference. Everything else is treated just as seriously. The rules are the same. And both fighters must abide by them. You've got to give some credit to Belson. He's taken quite a beating and hasn't once dropped the canvas. And with just 10 seconds left of the round, you'd have to think now both fighters will stay on their feet but it's an obvious obvious win and Joe Perry if you didn't already know it just to show you that he is the true champion here
fantastic camaraderie. The images to a thousand words. The ginger flashes head just being snapped back by the power of Jeremy. And what, what's fantastic here is that Joe Perry looks like he's just swinging at random. But as you watch the fist connect with Belston's head again and again, you realize that actually Joe Perry has a plan here and he's been very accurate. And Joe Perry, Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't need to be said, has won this fight, fair and square. Fighting in the gold corner is Joe In the gold corner. There you go. He did in fact compete in the first season. He has returned, he won last season. And he was so inspired, he said, he enjoyed the experience of the challenge boxing so much that he decided to do it again. And he's come back and he's won again. He's got to be happy.